Hi, I'm Damien. I'm here at Liquid Kitty in West LA, California, where I've been for 17 years. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about Moscow Mule today. Um, the Moscow Mule is actually, uh, the story is, I don't know if it's true, but the story is the distributor from Hubline, which is a huge dis distribution company here in the United States. They bring in a lot of booze from all over the world. Um, and the, a guy who was a salesman or part owner, or I don't know how the lore goes, of a company called Cock and Bull that makes ginger beer, decided they both wanted to promote their products. So they developed a drink called the Moscow Mule, which is primarily vodka and ginger beer. So they used Smirnoff was the vodka, and ginger beer was the, the mixer. And they went around the country and they brought copper mugs to a lot of bars to, to make their drinks and copper mugs to set it aside from everyone else to really boost the sales of ginger beer and Smirnoff. Um, now over the years it's said that we use copper mugs or silver mug to keep the, it, the mug gets cold and frosty and keeps the drink cold and or alters the flavor of the drink. Really it was a sales technique. At least that's what I've heard. Um, traditionally, the Moscow Mule is just fresh squeezed lime juice, um, vodka, and uh, ginger beer. Here at the Kitty, uh, we had a meeting and people were making everything different. We want to kind of solidify how we make every drink. And the big one was the Moscow Mule. Um, I work with a guy named Jason, great guy, great bartender. He likes sweet drinks, so he pushed to have our Moscow Mule made with sugar and mints to give it a lot of flavor and make it sweeten it up because it's traditionally ginger beer doesn't have any sugar in it uh, and a fresh mint, a fresh lime is uh, very bitter so it's a it's a very bitter drink not bitter but it, it's not a sweet drink so uh, I lost so here at Liquid Kitty we make them with uh, a sugar cube fresh squeezed lime which is very traditional I like to make uh, anything that's fresh squeezed lime, I'll cut a lime into a half and then cut that half into third or fourths. Makes it easier to squeeze and get as much juice out of it as possible. You can't see in the cup, but there's a pretty fair amount of fresh squeezed lime juice at the bottom there. And then uh, we add mint for flavor. I just put a few mint leaves at the bottom. Again, this is only here at the Kitty, so don't expect this anywhere else. It's, that's our, our version. Uh, and then I'll just kind of give that a little muddle all together. You don't have to destroy the mint leaves, you just want to get the oil out so that it's, uh, it adds the flavor to the drink. We use Kettle One here a lot at Liquid Kitty, it's kind of our vodka. So we'll do uh, a five count. And then uh, we actually use, I still have mint on my hands, we see actually use the uh, cock and bull um, ginger beer, which was the traditionally, it was, that's how the, the Moscow meal started. It comes in cans or bottles. And then also, same thing, a six count, five count, depending on how you pour. Uh, any drink that has any carbonation in it, I don't like to shake, I want to stir it up. If you shake it, you lose your carbonation, which loses a lot of the flavor of the drink. And then I'll just top that off with ice and a straw. And for us, we use mint as a garnish. And uh, that's your Liquid Kitty Moscow Mule. There's a lot of history of the old fashioned. Uh, first, where the name came from, it was common that a cocktail in the early 1800s was made with uh, sugar or goyim syrup, which is, which is like a simple syrup. Uh, and that was traditionally what a cocktail was, and they 